Hi there, it's the middle of fall and today we're going to be talking about the changing of the seasons. We're going to do one of my favorite projects. We've been doing it for years and years at Floodbrook and I still have the ones my children made for me over 20 years ago. This is what we'll be working on. We'll show what the apple trees look like in winter, spring, summer and fall. But you're going to be doing a smaller version like this right inside your sketchbook and you're going to show us how the tree changes over time. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. For this project you're going to need your sketchbook, your black sharpie marker, your colored pencils, maybe a planning pencil, and if you have it a q-tip, a paintbrush, your paints, and the white oil pastel from your set. You'll also need a cup of water and maybe a little sponge or paper towel. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to divide our sketchbook page into four spaces. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm taking this one page, I'm going to fold it over right like that to the edge, and I'm going to put a little crease in that. That shows me one line. And then I need to put a line about in the middle. A ruler might help you with that. I'm going to get one right here. This looks to be pretty straight and about in the middle. Not bad. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to put a line there and a line here right where I folded it. And now I have a space for the four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. The next thing I need to do is draw my four trees. Now we know that trees are a little bigger, fatter at the bottom, a little skinnier at their top, and apple trees have little branches that come off of big branches. And you practice drawing trees before, so let's do it again. So I'm gonna do a line down. I'm gonna do another line next to it and make it go a little bit fatter at the bottom. Now I am going to put branches off of branches. Branch there, little branches off of big branches, and maybe one here. Okay. And I think today I am going to go ahead and draw my four trees. You watch and I'll do it in fast motion. Now I hope you took your time to do a good job. I just speeded up the video so you didn't have to watch me. I did four trees and then I drew the ground and I used the hopover tree. So now it's time to show the seasons. How are we going to do that? Well, if I tried to do white on the white background for snow, it's not going to show up very well. So what I'm going to do is a little trick. I'm going to take my white cray paw and I'm going to put some snowflakes. And right now, you're not going to see them, but I am pressing down really hard and I'm going to show you a trick later. Maybe some snow landed on this branch here. And there's going to be snow here because this is winter. We are starting with winter. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to write winter right here. W-I-N-T-E-R. But how are we going to make winter show up? It doesn't look like winter. So we're going to take our paints and get the blue wet because winter is a cold time of year and we often think of the cool colors in winter time. I brush right over my tree and look, the snowflakes are showing through. So I'm gonna put my sky in there around my tree and there are my winter snowflakes. I can even go over the snowy hill. And one thing I forgot to do, which I hope you remembered, is I forgot to color in my tree. So I am going to quickly take my brown pencil because that works very well. But it certainly works better if I do it before I paint. So I am quickly going to go back and do all my trees. If you want, you can go over the branches too to show more brown. You decide. It's your artwork. 
So we've got winter, the cold days of winter, and then comes spring when all the little leaves start to pop out. Just tiny, but what else happens in spring? What do we see on apple trees in spring? Can anyone remember? You're right, we see little apple blossoms. You can do your blossoms two ways. You can draw your blossoms. I'm going to put some little darker red in the center, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put some pink around them. Lots of blossoms, and those blossoms are what turn into apples. So we want a lot of them on the tree. If you want to, if you feel like using your paints, you could use that instead. But you're probably saying to me, but I don't have any pink. Well, you can mix it. I'm getting my white wet, and I'm taking a little bit of red, dabbing that on, and now I have pink. And I can dab those pink blossoms on with my brush, or I can take that nice Q-tip and paint with that. I need to get a little more paint on it. And I can dab that on. Who knew you could paint with a Q-tip? Now the grass in spring is a springy colored yellow. It's not bright green. A springy colored green, I told, meant to say. It's not a bright, bright green. So I'm gonna get my yellow first, put it on the ground, and then I'm gonna put some green over the top. And I've got a lovely spring green. In fact, I might even add a little more of that spring green to my tree. Perfect. Winter, spring, S-P-R-I-N-G. Then comes summer. And the very last is the season we're in now is fall. So how do we do summer? Well, let's think about our trees in summer. They are full of bright green leaves. So I'm gonna take my green, my paintbrush, and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll have a nice bright green. And if I put the tip of my brush on the branch and let it rest, I've got some great leaf shapes. And I can fill that tree with lots and lots of leaves. And some kids say to me, there might even be the beginning of apples. If you want, you can paint some tiny little ones there. And the grass in the summer is also a nice bright green, so we will do that. And because I use Sharpie, if the paint goes over my words, they still show up. Isn't that nice? Next, it's fall. And you know what happens in fall. The leaves start to turn, and the apples grow nice and big. So I'm going to put a few little leaves on, not so many, because some of them are falling off. Might have a little yellow on them. But uh, now it's time for those nice big apples. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get this nice and dark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I am going to print those apples with my finger. Nice, big, red apples to fill my tree and make a luscious painting to share with everybody. The final touch will be to do the grass and you might have some falling leaves down below, a little bit of grass. You decide. You might even print a nice apple that fell off the tree right there. Now I'll add a tiny bit of green. When you're all done, put away your art supplies, put your name on your work, maybe right there, and would you go to Add Response and take a picture of your work to send to me? I can't wait to see it.